linking commands, link, hits, contents. This podcast, number 87, is at the advanced level. It requires a thorough working knowledge of Accordance Bible software. The power of Accordance's search engine is most obvious on a daily basis in its speed and precision. However, it is capable of far more than most users realize and at speeds that are truly astonishing. In today's podcast, we'll be considering Accordance's linking commands, three different ways to harness the power of Accordance in complex searches. Before we look at the linking commands, let's all make sure we understand the difference between a pane and a window. What's the difference between the two? This workspace has four panes, each with its own text. However, it only has three windows. The windows are easy to recognize as each has its own search entry box. Multiple panes within a single window are called parallel panes because they scroll in parallel with each other. Each additional pane is added using the Add Parallel button. Additional windows can be added by opening a text or tool directly from the library. Depending upon your accordance preferences, these windows will open either as new tabs or new zones. I've only shown zones here so viewers can clearly see the relationship between linked windows. Tabs are stacked one behind the other, which saves space on a small monitor but makes it impossible to see what's happening at any tab but the foremost one. These new windows, whether tabs or zones, are normally independent of each other, and searches in one window won't affect the others, usually. Linking commands temporarily link zones, or tabs, together, allowing searches in the source window to affect other windows. These powerful commands allow simultaneous searches, searches within searches, and cascading searches in multiple windows. The three linking commands join or link the searches between two or more zones in different ways. The simple link command duplicates the search argument from the source window in other windows, permitting simultaneous identical searches in different texts or tools. The contents command duplicates the list of verses from the source zone, allowing users to search within the list of verses resulting from the original search, usually with the use of the AND command. The hits command duplicates the list of hit words from the source window, enabling searches for them in other texts or tools. Let's look at each of these linking commands more closely, along with a practical application or two of each. Link. The link command duplicates the search argument from the source window in other windows, permitting simultaneous identical searches in different texts or tools. The link command takes the search argument from this source window and places it in each target window, like so. That's true whether there's just a single target pane or several, as in this example. If the search argument is changed in the source window, the linked windows update automatically. Let's look at the three uses of the link command. The first example is in a construct search, which is nothing more than a graphical way of designing a search. Available in English, Greek, and Hebrew, it's especially nice when designing complex searches. Now, we won't attempt to do anything complex today. We're just going to do a simple search in English. Notice that when I open a construct search, Accordance automatically inserts a link command into the target window. Now, I'm going to do a simple search for the word angel and the word Lord when they fall within four words of each other. Notice that the drag and drop interface for a construct search is just very intuitive. Okay, let's run that search and here are the results. I can also link that construct search to more than one window. Here, Let's open the KJV in its own zone. Let's just copy this link and run the search again. Now, let's change the construct search. We'll substitute God for Lord and click Enter. Accordance searches both the ESV and the KJV simultaneously. The second example is something I've put together for some of my Catholic friends 
or for anyone serious about the history of interpretation during the patristic period. This workspace has three zones, with the Dewey Reams on the left, the Christian apologists in the middle, and the apostolic fathers on the right. Let's do a word search in these three texts. Now I'm going to use an exact search primarily because we're still tweaking the flex search feature in link searches. We'll enter the link command from the menu. And since I have several workspaces open, Accordance asks me which text I'm going to use as my source window. I'll select Dewey. Once again, I'll use the lazy man's route and just copy and paste that whole link into the third search window. Now we're ready for our search. Let's look for baptism. Now, how about grace? See how easy it is to search multiple texts once the workspace is set up, even from different corpora. I've taken this third example from my experience as an adjunct New Testament prof at Regent University School of Divinity. Students in my Intro to New Testament sections are required to write a research paper. Of course, that means I have to grade them. I designed an Accordance workspace to help me out. It has all the major Bible dictionaries used in New Testament research. Anchor, Isby, Zondervan's, and three of the IVP New Testament dictionaries. I actually include all four, but there wasn't room to show the fourth one clearly on the small podcast display. Now I try to arrange the dictionaries in order of size, placing the one with the largest number of entries first. I recommend using exact search here too, but I expand them by using just the root of the word followed by an asterisk. This will pick up some irrelevant hits, but ensures that I get all the articles that are relevant to that particular paper. Students often elect to write on slaves or slavery. In order to catch articles on both topics, I enter S-L-A-V asterisk. Here, we've caught an irrelevant article, Slavonic, but it does give me a chance to show how to move from one relevant entry to another. If there are multiple hits in a single dictionary, just click on the mark navigation arrow to view each of them in turn. Prostitution is another common paper topic. Let's search for P-R-O-S-T-I-T asterisk. Notice that Accordance lets me know when a dictionary doesn't have a relevant entry. Finally, let's try B-A-P-T asterisk, which will catch both baptism and baptize. You won't believe how much more efficient this method is than the old way I used. Owning these dictionaries in accordance and having this linked workspace has cut my paper grading time by more than half. Contents. The contents command duplicates the list of verses from the source zone, allowing users to search within the list of verses resulting from the original search, usually with the use of the AND command. In this example, the search in the source zone looked for the first word of every chapter in the ESV. It found and displayed them along with the verse in which each is located. As we can see, there are 1189 chapters in the Bible. The second search, the one in the target window, used that list of 1189 verses with the contents linking command. It then searched within those verses using the AND command for every one that also contained the word God. There are 152 verses that meet this criteria. The advantage of using the linking command here is that either part of the search can be adjusted independently. A user could decide to limit the verses in the source search to just a single book in the Bible simply by changing the range. Or, other common synonyms for God could be added to the search in the target zone without adjusting the original search Abraham's faith is legendary, as is his relationship to God. Let's say we want to focus on the association between his name and some of the great Bible doctrines. First, we'll search for Abraham and Abram using this string of characters, A, B, R, A, asterisk, M. The asterisk allows accordance to include the H, A in the middle or ignore it. Now, we'll take just this cluster of verses and search within them. There's a keyboard shortcut for entering commands and symbols. We just control click in the search entry box and choose which one we want. 
Again, I'll have to choose the proper source text. Now I need to enter an AND command here. The absolute fastest way to enter a command is to memorize the keyboard shortcut for it, which happens to be Command Shift A. So, how many times is Abraham associated with faith or faithfulness in the Bible? 14. How about God's promise to make him the father of many nations? 58. In God's covenant with him? 11 times. As you can see, the contents command makes it very easy to search within a subset of the Bible's texts. Hits. The hits command duplicates the list of hit words from the source zone, enabling searches for them in other texts or tools. While the texts in this example are in Greek, don't let that throw you. The principles we've been studying are exactly the same. In the source window, we've searched for all the unusual words in the Greek New Testament that also appear in Revelation. Here's an analysis pane where we can see more of the words. Using the linking command hits, we've taken this entire list of 382 words and searched for them in the rest of the New Testament. We've also searched for that same list of words in the Septuagint, the Pseudepigrapha, the Apocalyptic Apocalypses, and Philo. I actually used a workspace very similar to this to research for an article in a Feshrift for a former professor. The hits command is the only linking command that can be modified, and then only when used with tagged texts. In Bible translations tagged with key numbers, the unmodified hits command still lists words from the source window. But add equals K, and it will use the list of key numbers instead. In original language texts that are grammatically tagged, the regular hits command uses the lemmas. Equals I uses inflected forms, and equals T uses only the grammatical tags. Just imagine the kinds of complex searches we can do with these modifiers. These three linking commands are powerful tools for advanced research in biblical studies. Making dedicated workspaces that take advantage of them will save enormous time in research, time that can then be spent on reflecting on the search results. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp. Music